Hey everyone, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go, and in this episode, I'm going to cover the most used aspect ratios with when and how to use them. First, a little history on it. Back in the day when motion pictures were only being shot on film, the film had a native aspect ratio of 4x3. This was the standard for decades. Then a few things started to change. TVs started to become popular, and they used the same 4x3 ratio, and theater attendance dropped. So the studios needed a way to get people back to the movies. One way of doing this was offering something people couldn't get at home, a much wider frame, which gives a closer perspective to what the human eye perceives. This widescreen look took off, so the next challenge was that they needed to find a way to optimize the process. There were two main ways that you could get this wider screen. First, the Cinerama, which used three cameras in one, side by side, all recording slightly different angles, and then projecting it back through three different projectors. This method worked, but it wasn't practical, cheap, or time effective. But there was another way to get the widescreen image, and it was a lot less complicated than the Cinerama method. Come in the introduction of anamorphic lenses. Anamorphic lenses are designed to squish the image horizontally so a wider field of view could be captured on the 4x3 ratio of the film stock, then projected back through another anamorphic lens to be de-squeezed for presentation with ratios between 185 to 1 to 239 to 1, depending on how much the lens was squeezing the image. Now, jumping forward to today, these ratios are still being used with the addition of 16 by 9 for HD. This is probably the most common aspect ratio today. It's the standard for household TVs and many computer monitors. Also, most cameras today shoot in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, with the exception of certain cinema cameras that you can change the ratios to be more similar to traditional film. 16x9 is a great ratio for documentaries, commercials, and most TV shows. Next is 185 to 1, which is very similar to 16x9, but slightly shorter on the height. Many big budget TV shows that are shot on higher end cameras use this aspect ratio, because it's a good compromise between the 16x9 HD and the 235 to 1 widescreen. This ratio is great for narrative scripted shows that want a more cinematic look, but don't want to go ultra wide. Lastly, the very wide aspect of 235 to 1. It's very appealing to so many filmmakers, and almost anything will look more cinematic in this aspect ratio. Going back to the origin of widescreen, we see this aesthetic coming from the anamorphic lenses and cinemascope, and we have been trained to associate it with high-end feature films. Therefore, this ratio is great for theatrical releases of narrative short films and features. Try playing around with different ratios on your next shoot. You might find one that could serve your project better. That's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions on aspect ratios, leave them in the comments below. And also let me know what your favorite ratio is to shoot in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the rest of the videos in our IOTA playlist. As always, happy shooting.